Hello everyone, welcome to our Scratch Junior channel. I am Ben. I am going to show you how to build a sea monster game. You will learn how to use start on bump and start on tap to simulate the interactive actions of the player. As suggested before, please use a pen and a piece of paper to sketch the story first before creating the project. Now, let's add a new project and create a story. Always remember our four steps for the project. Step 1. Where does our story take place? Let's say our story takes place under the water. In order to add underwater as the background for our stage, we click the landscape image on top of the interface screen. Then, we select underwater as the background for our stage. There you go. Step 2. Who are the characters in our story? Our story has four pre-built characters, the fish, the crab, the sea house, the starfish, and the ball. Also, we want to add two customized characters, up arrow, and down arrow. The two customized characters are used to control the movement of the fish. Let's remove the cat which was added by default by pressing the cat character. Click the cross icon of the cat and remove the cat character. Then, we need to add the fish, the crab, the sea house, the starfish, and the ball as the characters. Click the add button on the left side of the interface screen. Then, we select fish as the character. There you go. Do the same for crab, sea house, starfish, and ball. Next, we are going to add the up arrow and down arrow. Click the add button on the left side of the interface screen. Then, click the paint editor icon on the top bar. The paint editor will be bought up and you can make your own character. Select the triangle shape on the left bar. You can also choose the line width on the left bar. Now, click the center of the editor and drag downward to form an upward triangle. Click the fill icon on the right bar and choose red on the bottom color bar. Name the new character up arrow. Repeat the above steps for creating the down arrow character. Step 3. Where are the starting positions for our characters? Let's move the fish to the center of the sea bottom and move the crab, the sea house, and the startfish to the far left. Finally, move the ball to the center of the sea top. There you go. Step 4. What are the actions of our characters? Once we have the background, characters, and starting positions of the characters, we can create our story. In our story, it is an interactive game in which the player can click the up and down arrow to control the fish's vertical movement. The crab, sea house, and starfish will swim horizontally from left to right. The fish can move up and down to avoid these sea creatures. The goal of the game is for the fish to reach the ball at the sea top without touching the sea creatures. Click the crab character. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the process for the crab. Let's add start activities block first. Then, you want the crab to keep moving right by adding move right block. And, you want the crab to keep moving by adding repeat forever block as the end block. Also, you want to notify the fish if the fish has touched the crab. Add another process with start on bump block. Once the crab is touched, it will send a message to the fish. Add send start message block to send a message with the default color. Add the same process for starfish and seahorse. For starfish and seahorse, we want to increase the challenge by speeding up movement. Add set speed block before the move right block and set a faster speed for starfish and the fastest speed for seahorse. Click the up arrow character. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the process for the up arrow. Let's add start on tap and end activities block first. Add send start message block with green color message. Click the down arrow character. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the process for the down arrow. Let's add start on tap and end activities block first. Add send start message block with red color message. Click the ball character. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the process for the ball. Add the start on bump and end activities block first. Add say block with a message, you won. If the ball is touched. Click the fish character. On the bottom section of the interface screen, you can add the process for the fish. There are three processes needed to be added. 
The first process is to handle the message from the C creatures. Add the start on message block to receive the default color message. Add say block with the message, ouch. If the fish touches any of the C creatures, a message will pop up. The second process is to handle the message from the up arrow. Add the start on message block to receive the green color message. Add move up block upon receiving the message. The third process is to handle the message from the down arrow. Add the start on message block to receive the red color message. Add move down block upon receiving the message. Let's play the game. Oh no. It is very hard. Let's try again. Yeah. I won the game. The final step is to name our project. Click the yellow button on the top right corner of the interface screen. Let's change the name to see Monster Game. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to our channel. See you again soon.